I want to hear what you are thinking about the play-in tournament for the East. So first off, love the play-in. I think it helps teams who would normally be out of the playoff race at this time of season, who are normally ramping down, stay in things, be competitive, play their star players. Uh, teams that are near the bottom, seven, et cetera, have to play their star players. I think it's great. We get more good basketball. All a fan could want. So out in the East right now, I'm going to talk about uh, the 7-8 matchup. So that's the Celtics and Hornets. I think Celtics win that. That sets up a celtics Nets series, which I'm very excited to see, uh, both because the Nets have not been healthy all season and the Celtics, despite not having good, good play for good chunks of the season, uh, have looked decent lately. And I would love to see them against the, Celt- the, the Nets and see the Nets try to sharpen their blades, so to speak, against the young Celtics team. That would then lead us to the Hornets playing the winner of Pacers-Wizards. I think the Wizards win that that matchup really easily. And so we have a Hornets-Wizards matchup. And That's exciting. That is exciting. Who do you have winning the Hornets-Wizards matchup for that last playoff spot? I think the Wizards will take it just like Russ and Bradley Beal will be able to kind of will the team forward. Overpower the young Hornets? Yes. The Hornets have also just been dealing with a rash of like unluckiness. Melo is just getting back. I want to say they just lost Malik Monk to COVID protocols. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure at this point, if you're in COVID protocols, there's a very good chance you don't make it back before the playoffs. No, uh, it's not a full, two full weeks is what you really need. Um, we're really pushing it's it. Especially to, if you catch it. We record on the fifth. He's already in the protocol. Um, so if he catches it, he's out until probably the 19th. 18th at least. But if it's just the contact tracer thing, maybe he could be back. That That's important. So I'm just feeling like the Wizards will be more full strength and they will just be able to overpower them. And it's interesting to me because I actually am really going to love the play-in tournament for the East. Generally, the playoffs for the East are kind of boring at the beginning. Mm-hmm. It's like the first, the top three, four seeds are pretty decent teams. They generally molly the bottom seeds real quick. Just Yeah, get, get them out of there. We, we remember LeBron doing it for like a decade. He's like, game five is your game seven. You're going home. Like, it, it's generally not very interesting, but I think it's going to be very interesting, particularly just like the play-in tournament will get to see some exciting people play. These are actually some talented, talented stars in the play-in tournament. I think it sets up a good matchup for the Sixers as well, playing playing the Wizards in the first round. Uh, we want to see Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, what they do against Russ and uh, Bradley Bill. I think Bill will take it as his, he wants to shine. <laughs> he wants to prove that he can do it, that he's the guy, that all he needed was a little bit of help, and Russ finally showed up, and here they go. I mean, Russ is on a historic tear, assuming that we're right in the Celtics and the Wizards get out of the playing tournament. Which of these teams do you think can actually be more dangerous and go on a run, make some noise? I think it's the Wizards. I think they're kind of scary if I'm the Sixers. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see a, a hot Russ and Bradley Bill who can shoot the lights out of the basketball. I don't want that if I'm the Sixers who can have cold stretches, who can have times where Embiid back his back hurt or his knee hurt or Ben Simmons can't shoot for long stretches I don't want to play a hot team when that's me on offense Russ is out here getting 20 assists 20 rebound games it is kind of disgusting well what happens when Russ gets 20 assists is other guys are playing way harder because they they know they're going to get the basketball I think that's kind of maybe the turning point for this Wizards team is Russ is going to shoot the ball a lot less and just kind of impose play point guard. his will. Yeah. <laughs> impose his will. Because he's also on the block. He's on the board. He's on the block, getting the board. He's bringing it up the court. He's initiating the offense, deciding who gets the ball, when they get it. He is playing point guard uh, like no one. Like uh, He's no one in the modern era. No one in the modern era. We don't really appreciate what he is doing enough. Um Listen, I got Matt Love for another point guard. We're going to talk about it in a minute here. But Russ is great. Russ is an all-time great. You should enjoy watching Russ while he's still here. 